Oh, that's a beaver. Oh my gosh, that's a beaver. Oh my gosh. That is a beaver. Oh my gosh. I didn't know there would be beavers in the middle of the city. We are in the middle of the city. I'm walking along the river edge. I turn and look and my friends, that's a beaver. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm going to see if he's going to come back up. But if not, you guys, that's an adventure, all right. Oh my gosh, there he is. That's 100% a beaver. Oh my gosh. There's a beaver. It's my very first real life beaver. Okay, I'm going to try not to make very much noise so I don't spook him again. But this is so cool. Are you kidding me? This is a beaver. They actually, like, I'm looking down at a beaver log. I will show you guys the beaver log in just a minute. I'm gonna walk as close as I can, but we're about to hit max range. You guys. You guys, that's a, that's a real life beaver. This is Siri's very first real life beaver. Some of you probably don't think this is exciting. I'm in the middle of the city. It's a very busy day. There's dozens and dozens and dozens, possibly more than 100 people around me. And there's a beaver. There's a beaver. Oh my gosh. There's no way I can get over to that wetlands, I don't think. I'm gonna give it my best go. Because that's a beaver. <laughs> oh my gosh. No way. Alright you guys, so we just saw that beaver. I had just been standing and kind of staring into the distance watching the lake for a long time and I turned and I thought I saw a dog swimming next to me in the lake and it was a beaver and that was the very first wild beaver that I have ever seen and who knows where he has gone. This particular end of the lake is the only part where you can't really access it in any spot so of course this is the perfect spot. You can hear the very cranky kingfisher who also likes to hang out over here. This is the perfect spot for a beaver. I'm trying to see if I can sense any movement in the water at all to indicate where he may be. But this is the perfect spot where a beaver or a goose family or many other animals like to hide. And so I'm very excited. I keep like zipping around at the slightest ripple in the water. But I think that he has decided to get out of sight. <gasps> is that him? Oh my gosh, let that be him. Come here, buddy. Come on out, but I think he's decided to get out of my line of sight, and he's not going to um, remedy that anytime soon. But there we go. There is an adventure vlog, all right. You can hear there's dozens of people walking past me. This area is super, super busy. You can see people in the distance. But that was a beaver. I found it. Oh my gosh, I found it. I found the beaver. I see it way over there. Oh my goodness. It is so far away from me. It is so far away. But that is a beaver right over there. This is so amazing. I have no idea if there's a way I can get any closer to him. But for now, I can appreciate and enjoy the fact that I am looking at a beaver. This is amazing. I would have never guessed. There are people, tons of people, jogging and walking right next to us. And they don't even see him. I get so many comments all the time of people saying, Siri, I wish I lived where you did. There's no wildlife where I live. And you guys, I would say slow down and look a little harder. Because if I hadn't been standing just watching the sunset and kind of feeling like I was wasting time and I was feeling a little guilty about it. But if I hadn't been doing that, we wouldn't be looking at a beaver right now. So just embrace the adventure, slow down and really look twice.